hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and I hope you consider subscribing on your way out so today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this large round gilly my previous video on a round gilly which I'm going to link down below the gilly was quite smaller than this one so this time around I'm going to show you guys how to make it look this big so if you want to see how I achieve this make sure to keep on watching I was trying to get my mother to say hi to the camera but she was very shy. The first thing we do as usual is turn your ghillie outside in I believe and make sure that your ghillie is measured 70-30 so one side should be shorter and one side should be really long. Then you're going to go ahead and place it on the head. Then we're going to go ahead and start forming our pleats. As usual, I'm going to use my two index fingers and just be pulling the material forward from inside. And when I pull it forward, I'm going to hold it with my thumb. I'm going to do this till I form enough pleats. You can form as many pleats as you want. You can form as little as two pleats or six pleats. Now that I'm done forming my pleats, I'm going to go ahead and ask her to hold it on one side while I extend the pleats on the other side and then I'm going to do this as well to the other side. While extending your pleats, you basically just have to follow the lines of the pleats that you already formed in the center. When you're done extending it, you're also going to ask her to hold it at that side. As you can see here, I've clearly formed six pleats. And after you're done with this, you're just going to go ahead and cross the two sides at the back. The shorter side will go first and then the longer side is going to go above the shorter side. At this point, you're also going to need help holding this short side because you need your two hands as you try to form the pleats with the other longer side. Now I'm just going to pull this across her face and stop somewhere close to the middle and then I'm just going to gently start forming more pleats. To do this, I'm going to use my free hand and place inside the material to assist me with pulling material forward to be able to form more pleats. So this is where it makes all the difference. Here I'm just simply going to pull in material and then hold it with my thumb just at that part and then just drag my fingers across the rest of the material because you don't want the whole material to be tight because you need that space to be able to make your ghillie look bigger to be able to give you more room to work with like more materials to form plates with later. So just hold it tight with your thumb and then drag your fingers across. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing it like three or four pleats at a time. So after I hold three or four and drag it across, I'm going to then go ahead and extend the pleats. Then I'm going to go back like I'm doing here and do the same thing, then go back and extend the pleats. As you can see, you need this part to be loose. You need that room, like it's very, very important. Again, hold with your thumb and just pull your finger through till you get to the end. Truth be told, at this point, I had a totally different style of ghillie in my mind. Like, I was going to do a fan ghillie. Like, I don't know how it turned out to be a round ghillie, but what's important is it still looked nice at the end of the day. So, sometimes you might start out with something else in mind and then end up with something totally different. But as long as it looks good, I'm sure that's all that matters. I'm 
I'm sure you can see here beginning to look like a fan ghillie, but all that is going to change in a bit. But definitely, my next ghillie tutorial is going to be on how to tie a fan ghillie. And this time around, I'm going to try and get it right. <laughs> Trying to extend these pleats are like the trickiest thing ever so just try your best and extend as much as you can. Sometimes you're going to lose pleats in the process, that's fine as long as it still looks good at the end but if you can try not to lose any pleats. Then now you're going to ask her to go ahead and hold it while with the rest of the materials you're just basically going to keep folding it till the material finishes. So as you can see here I'm just going to keep folding it till I'm done with the material. done while she's still holding it you're going to go ahead and tie it at the back make sure she's still holding it because if not all the pleats you formed they're just going to scatter and <laughs> believe me that has happened to me severally so just make sure the person is holding it very tight while you tie it at the back now for my favorite part i'm just going to go ahead and define those pleats even better i know it doesn't look like it but i'm still following basically the line of pleats that we formed before and i'm then going to just fold it out one side and then extend it all the way to the other side As usual, I'm just going to go ahead and continue extending these pleats one after the other the best I can and as neat as I can. So just follow the pleats you've already formed and just keep extending it. To do this is very simple, just put your hand inside the material and just drag it all the way across and you're going to get a pleat that goes from one end to the other. Then I'm going to go ahead and use a pin and hold this side so that the both sides match. And I'm basically just going to pull the gilly back and arrange it the best I can and then you're done. So thank you all so much for tuning in again today and I hope that if you're not subscribed you're definitely going to do so on your way out just hit the subscribe button down below and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something from this video and I'm going to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!